Procedure for the correct weighing technique Procedure 1. Ensure that the balance is clean and check the spirit level. If spirit level is not aligned, adjust the same with the knob provided. 2. Check the condition of silica. If it has turned pink or colorless then replace with fresh silica. 3. Check the calibration tag on balance for the validity. If not valid, then get the calibration done as per respective balance SOP, then only proceed for weighing. 4. Check whether internal calibration of balance is done, if not then get it done. Record it and then only proceed for weighing. There are two types of material solid and liquid. The, the first procedure of weighing of solid material. 1. Use appropriate size of butter paper with respect to the quantity of the sample to be weighed. 2. Place the butter paper on the pan of the balance and tear the weight to zero. 3. Place the desired quantity of the sample slowly at the center of butter paper using a clean spatula. The weight taken should be within plus or minus 10% of the specified weight. 4. Close the door of balance and note down the weight of sample. 5. Carefully transfer the contents from the butter paper to the desired container example conical or volumetric flask ensuring no spillage of the powder. 6. After completion of the transfer, place the butter paper back on the pan of balance. Shut the door of balance. Note down the weight and balance code number in record of analysis. The weight of the sample is the difference in the two weights. 7. After completion of weighing, the usage details shall be entered in log book of the respective balance. Second procedure for weighing of liquid samples. 1. Check the outer edge and bottom of the container example volumetric or conical flask or beaker into which the liquid sample has to be weighed. It should be clean and dry. 2. Place the container on the pan of the balance. Ensure that the total weight of the container and the weight of the sample required does not exceed the capacity of the balance. Balance. 3. Tear the weight of the container to zero. 4. If the sample to be weighed is volatile it is advisable to put little diluent in the container. Whenever the sample is required to be diluted tear the weight and then weigh the sample. 5. With the help of a clean and dry pipette transfer desired quantity of the liquid sample to be weighed into the container. 6. Close the door of balance and note down the weight of the liquid. It should be within plus or minus 10% of the specified weight and the balance code number on the record of analysis. 7. After completion of weighing. The usage details shall be entered in log book of the respective balance. Note, after completion of weighment, clean the balance and the surrounding area.